Hey, does Death Knight Mage work without Baron Geddon? It does work without it, but Baron Geddon is pretty sweet. Um, like if you uh, if you want an alternative for it, it's hard to get a heal that extensive from an elemental. Um, Anomalous is another one, but honestly, Anomalous is not worth crafting. Baron Geddon is much better, and it's like it's a lot more useful. Like it's definitely worth. Uh, crafting that over Anomalous. Druid, Druid. I'm gonna keep Doomsayer in case it's aggro. And then I can just sit on that if it's not. So far my deck has drawn really weird. Like it seems like there's always something that I need sitting in the bottom of my deck. But I don't draw. Okay, it is aggressive. I don't think I can afford to wait. Maybe I can. I don't know, this is gonna be hard to win. I think I just played that. Okay, Skull King Geist is not great. I gotta wait till turn six, and then it only it only eats the Mark of the Lotus, which is pretty good. But by then, by turn six, he would have used him by already. He just owled my Pyros. I mean, that's okay, but. He just used his three mana to uh, to owl my pyros. Oh my! Uh, this is not uh, aggro deck. Is this Beast Druid Cthulhu? This is... <laughs> this is Beast Druid Cthulhu! Oh. oh, what a... What a great time to be alive. He just mark of natured this. <laughs> what is going on? This is so exciting. I wonder if he has that guy that buffs taunts. I wonder if that's why he did that. Let's just get this out and see what we get. Do we get any Mark of the Lotus? Oh, we got Claws. Why does he run two Claws? That's such a stupid question. Why does he do anything? This is a true rank 20 Druid. Although, any any Druid deck at this point is not worth throwing away because of like all of your all of your ramp possibilities and we're one turn away from a Blizzard Doomsayer. Oh, that's not too bad. So do I Glyph first, or do I Intellect first? I think I need to... Um, well... I've got Jaina in hand. Mirror Image and Doomsayer is pretty interesting. Uh, because it lets me save my freezes. Dang. 
Mirror image and Doomsayer is pretty interesting. So then I can draw. Okay. Wow, this is awesome. We may be seeing Hearthstone history tonight. The first uh, Beast Cthulhu, Beast Cthulhu Druid build. We may be witnessing history. This might be the best uh, Saturday Night Chill <laughs> ever. I mean, it's the first Saturday Night Chill. I haven't really done this before. So he doesn't. He doesn't do this. He doesn't trade there. Just for kicks. Just to. Just for the satisfaction of going pew pew, and killing two guys. So this gives me a nice empty board for Cindergosa. Oh. <laughs> All right, a nice empty board for Cindergosa, and then uh, Frost Lich Jaina. Now I do need to think about what happens um, if he throws down Cthulhu. Do need to think about that. Because I've got three freezes in hand, but I don't really want to wait that long. I want to be able to do something with it. And if I polymorph it, he can't bring it back with a Doom Caller. If he does run that, because at this point in time, I'm not ruling anything out. I'm not ruling anything out. <laughs> oh yeah, Veckler. I'm gonna be sad when when Whispers rotates out this spring. Honestly, I'm gonna be kind of sad. Cause, uh, man, a lot of good times. With Cthulhu and all that nonsense, a lot of good times. Just imagine if somehow Cthulhu was an elemental, and you ran Cthulhu in a Death Knight Mage, and then you played Frost Lich and then Cthulhu. Oh man. Oh. Oh. I'm three two cost cards away from being able to play Prince Kalisa, although I don't have a ton of minions. So it doesn't get super great Prince value there. Is he trading with a water elemental? He's thinking about it. Oh, he's going to do it. I have so many freezes. I think I'm going to do this for the elemental value. And then as long as he doesn't have the, the, the card that buffs the beast, um, or he doesn't have another mark of nature, I should be able to ping that one too. Wow. Runs a Starfire. Of course he runs a Starfire. What? <laughs> At this point, why wouldn't he? I have to be careful with my freezes, though. I don't want to be... I don't want to be out of freezes by the time Cthulhu comes down.
what's the other that gets up to? It's 12 12. So, not a very good chance he takes out the board. What to do? But man, my hand is not looking very good. I can ping my own water elemental, I can hit and then ping my own elemental and get another elemental. Which is probably what I would end up doing. Well, that meteor is my answer to Cthulhu. So the question is, do I ping my elemental, get another one, or do I attack? Do I want to throw one of the Geddens out there yet? I don't think I do. In fact, I think I'm going to do this. Because that means he's freezing everything that he hits. Like if he like if he takes out the tar creeper, he can't just hit my face. He's going to freeze anything he tries to hit. And I don't think I'm going to need to save that for anything, like for heals in this game. Which is normally what I'd be using it for. That also gives a wider board for the Cthulhu. It's seriously like this guy hasn't played for a year and a half, and he's just throwing together all the stuff he has like, ooh, dark scale healer. That guy heals two for each friendly guy. I gotta put that in my deck. Frostbolt, eh? Oh, I did not add that up right. Alright, Kelisa. I'm just gonna put you out for fodder. For Cthulhu fodder. <laughs> the prince the prince scared him away <laughs> he wouldn't concede before but uh, the prince that's what scared him away wow <laughs> 